are family what is going on it's your boy trj in the building uh today's video we're gonna be talking about some things i already know i didn't start a lot of controversy i had a stream the other day saying it was my last dvd stream and some people like well jay are you quitting and if you watch my ruiner video i told you i deleted that bullshit but yesterday i redownloaded it streamed it a little bit and people kept asking me well jay are you quitting dvd so that's today that's what we're gonna talk about is jay quitting dead by daylight all right i'm gonna give you all my answer you guys ready is Jay quitting Dead by Daylight? Uh, I'm gonna get myself a drum roll. Uh, hell no, guys. No, no, I'm not. Oh, holy shit, yes! He's not quitting! Yes, people. Yes, yes. As much as I talk shit about this game, which you got to, you got, you just gotta vent. As much as I cannot stand this fucking game, am I quitting? No, I'm not gonna quit, guys. But however, I am not gonna be playing this shit nearly as much as i was like i'm just gonna be honest with you guys I, I i cannot play this game as nearly as much as i used to be i used to be able to stream this shit four to five hours like i, I used to fucking love this game you guys know that but it is literally impossible for me to play this game more than two hours without getting pissed while i'm playing killer if i'm being honest just over the years my tolerance and patience for this game has just decreased drastically why is that it's because of the changes because of the survivors but i'm not even gonna talk about the survivors you guys already know how survivors act so it's nothing new it's just these changes it's making it unbearable for me to play killer oh no hate to all of these other influencers you know i genuinely respect every dvd content creator i watch a lot of them all of them cool as fuck there's not a one single dvd creator that i hate let's just get that straight however nobody really says shit the way they want to say it so leave it up to jay to be the villain and say shit the way the way they wish they could say it without hurting the developers feelings and you know hurting their little respectful you know image you know i, I respect that but guess what like i said i'm the fucking villain so i will say shit the way they want to fucking say it developers what in the fuck is going through your stupid ass mind to make you think that these changes that you're making for these fucking rank 20 are acceptable do you hear what i'm saying what in your goddamn mind thought it would be a good idea to change ruin yeah good killers can make it work we do it all the time you make fucking dumbass changes we work around that we make it work but why do we keep having to make stuff work just so that survivors can have an easier time? Why, developers? Answer my damn question. Why on earth do you keep making me have to work harder? I don't want to sweat the hair off of my balls every goddamn match, developers. I want to be able to kick my feet up and play Dead by Daylight. I want to be able to talk on the phone and casually play DVD. But guess what? Nope. Nope. Maybe if I'm a rank 20, maybe I rank 20, I can do all that type shit. But do you think about your red ranks, developers? Do you? No, the fuck you don't. I have to sweat my ass off every damn game if i want to pit yeah you occasionally you get your rank 20s that are disguised as rank ones but that's not it most of the time you're dealing with people that know how to loop that know what they're doing and on top of that guess what guess what developers they have perks i am one person i have four perks i am going up against 12 of them they have one ruin they only have to worry about one ruin there's not two killers they have to worry about one ruin guess what if i get rid of a d strike guess what one of these other motherfuckers might have it, De developers. So that's three D-Strikes. All these perks I gotta go up against. And you wanna change Ruin because some of these people can't hit great skill checks? Why the hell is it even called a great skill check if you're not gonna reward them for having great skill? I guess the whole skill check means nothing. I don't even know why they call it that. What are they checking? What skill are they checking? These stupid mother- Oh, I swear, these developers. <sighs> These greedy motherfuckers, these greedy bitches, and every time I go on Twitter, guess what? They always releasing some cosmetics. We don't want you putting all your goddamn thought process into making new cosmetics every goddamn week. We want you to balance your goddamn game. But they are catering to these trash survivors and these newcomers. Because you know why? Well, how can we get these new people that are coming to our game to stay on our game? You know, you know the OGs. You know they're you know they're they're getting a little old. You know they can go play something else. We just want to encourage our new players to keep playing our game. You know, buy our new shit. You know, we'll we'll keep them in, we'll keep them intrigued with an easier game. You know what I'm saying? But how about your killers? How are you gonna keep your killer mains in um in the game, developers? You can have the survivors that leave, but if all killers leave, where's your game at? Where is your game at? Huh? Huh? Developers? You're taking your killers for granted. You are taking your killers for granted. When we all leave this thing, what are you going to do? You're going to try to make a Dead by Daylight 2 and, and better yourself and do the things you should have did in Dead by Daylight 1, huh? What are you going to do? You're literally treating your killers like crap. This new ruin nerf, all I kept seeing was, oh, survivor's frustration. Survivor's frustration. You know, this annoys survivors. This annoys survivors. What about your killers? What about your killers that are new? They're going to play killer and not want to play again. 
Especially with your trash matchmaking. I'll be playing killer, getting matched with rank 20s. I don't play survivor that much no more, so I don't know if you're a rank one. Do you ever get matched with a trash survivor? I mean, a trash killer? Y'all let me know. But I'm just getting tired of this mentality. Oh, killers just get good. Like, this is this is what this is what is pissing me off. You got your stupid ass, crackhead ass. I want to slap them in their motherfucking face ass, dumb ass. Oh my god. Survivor mains that are like, oh, you know what? If you needed ruin in the first place to get your kills, then you need to just get good. Ruin takes no skill. It was already overpowered. Shut your stupid ass up. I will not. Anyways, like I was saying, the whole ruin change. Good killers can make this shit work. However, this is what you got to think about. What in the hell am I supposed to do? Say say I got a group of noob threes. I got I got some Montos running around. You know, I got, I got all these good survivors in my lobby. How Ruin operates now, I have to push them off of gins in order for it to regress. But if I commit to a chase, they have time to be glued to that damn gin. And they're not going to come off knowing how Hex Ruin works now. They know. So A... I can what what so like what what do I do? I commit to a chase and give them time to finish those gins. They are going to be glued to that bitch. Or do I just keep giving up chase, not getting any hooks, and letting them live and essentially getting killed? Like what are what are my options? There's this like ruin is only gonna work in so many aspects. But however, it's a totem perk. It is a damn totem perk. So it's bound to get destroyed. Do you see the problem? It's a hex totem to begin with. Maybe if they make it a passive perk, where like you build stacks to make it work or some shit. I, I don't know. I'm not a I'm not a game designer. All I know is that the, this, this design is trash. I don't gotta be a game designer to know what they just did. Some complete trash. Like, and, and this is another thing. What are you, what you gonna do on big maps? What are you gonna do on big maps? Oh, this just shit is just so frustrating. Like, ruin was like the only thing slowing the game down, just to give you some time to get something going. And now that it's changed. Uh, I don't know, like, what are we gonna, like, what's the new meta? Pop goes the weasel, corrupt intervention I'm hearing. Ah, uh, I don't know, man. Oh, well, oh well, killers, if you, you need to get skill anyways, that ruin was such a crutch. Yeah, yeah, shut the fuck up, Sir Robert. Play with no perks and see how it goes for you. You, you, you saying I'm relying on, on, on ruins. Play with no perks since you're relying on all your perks. Yeah, exactly, shut up, I don't want to hear it. So, like I said, I ain't quitting. But I'm gonna be on these developers' god dang head. Y'all gonna start fixing some god dang things. And if they all don't, well, only thing saving y'all right now is that ain't get, they ain't a god dang thing else to play. You know, yeah, I bounce on Call of Duty, Call of Duty lit, but like our actual horror game, like uh, this, this is what this was fucked up. Developers, y'all made a this is a great concept. The whole hunting down survivors, like last year, I, I ain't gonna lie, I, I have it. I played a little bit, don't even know what the fuck I'm doing. But there, ain't, there ain't no horror game touching dead by daylight. They are killing a game, but they also killing themselves with these stupid changes. If they figure out a way to perfectly balance this game where it's not perks winning the matches, it's not RNG winning survivors the matches, not RNG winning killers the matches, but actually balance it to where it takes skill. Like the killer the killer won because he was mind gaming and he was just bodied. Not because he had, he had a good RNG, the map played in his favor, and shit like that. If they balance it to where it's not based off survivors fucking up for killers to win, this would be an awesome game, man. It's be an awesome game, and I I, I mainly play killer because I'm I'm competitive as fuck. I like I like that role, being by myself, getting shit done by myself, accomplishing stuff on my own. Like I, I like that. I love it a lot, which is why I play killer. I just gotten so damn frustrated with all these changes. I'm like, okay, god damn. Like I like I said, I gotta sweat my balls off just to win. It's getting ridiculous. I don't want to do all of this, but y'all got y'all answer. Jay quitting DBD. Hell the fuck no. I didn't spend too much damn money. However. I ain't playing this shit every goddamn day. I ain't playing this shit every goddamn day. And I ain't streaming this shit every damn day. Y'all gonna get y'all DVD content. But Jay is enjoying playing other games. Shout out to my lords that's been supporting other stuff. I fuck with y'all. I love the community I built off this game. So I just can't leave y'all hanging. I ain't gonna do y'all like that. However, understand my frustration. Please do. And I ain't gonna lie to other videos we be playing be lit, man. If y'all ain't checked out the layers of fear, y'all hey, need to go do that. I ain't gonna lie. My other videos, y'all can, uh, my other videos is lit, y'all, y'all sleeping on your boy, we underrated as hell, that's why T.U.R. was formed, but, y'all got your answer, Jay ain't going nowhere, man, Jay just wants shit to change, and if it don't, eventually, obviously, the game is gonna die, it can't stay in shit form forever, we will leave, but until then, I'll try my best, play it, make it work, entertain y'all, uh, hopefully they fix their game, like I said, uh, it's cool, cool game, cool concept, just, they killing themselves. They don't give a fuck about killers. They take us for granted, y'all. 
But we gonna let our voices be heard. I got y'all. I know you're killing mains. I got y'all. I'm y'all voice. I got you. I got you. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, spam up that TUR up next in the comment section, man. I want to know who rocking with your boy. It's your boy TURJ. I'm out of here. See you guys later. Love y'all. We've had this conversation and you seem to agree with me. But when there's complications, you withdraw and leave me to be. When there's a problem, you become like a wall. And every time I trip, it's a free fall. Why don't you have?